Hello everybody. Today I'll be talking about a fingerprint recognition system that I have designed for the project for the pattern recognition course under Dr. Wu. Firstly, why do we need to design such a fingerprint recognition system? We can see that in today's world, there is a drastic increase in the number of fraud cases and illegitimate access to the systems by imposters. So the need for a strong and reliable security system is unquestionably a must. Now the conventional methods of identifying a person, like the use of identity cards, have its drawback. For example, the cards could be stolen or misplaced. A reliable method of identifying and verifying an individual could be done with the aid of biometric recognition, which is basically a personal recognition technique based on the characteristic features that are unique to a particular individual. For example, fingerprint recognition, retina pattern, face recognition and speech recognition are different for different people. This wonderful idea of security based on exploiting certain unique features of an individual motivated me to design a fingerprint recognition system for the pattern recognition project. The system is a dependable one and finds a lot of practical use in the field of forensics and criminal investigation besides identifying a person. I have implemented recognition based on the extraction and matching of minutiae which is explained in the next slide. Now minutiae are small patterns on a human fingerprint whose locations vary with individuals. This variation makes each individual have a different fingerprint. So basically this property of uniqueness is exploited to identify an individual using the fingerprint recognition system. A template of a person is originally stored in the system. The next time the person tries to gain access, his or her fingerprint would be inputted to the system and the location of the minutiae of both the sets of fingerprints would be compared to find a similarity and obtain a potential match between them. Two minutiae taken into consideration are ridge ending, which is basically a suddenly ending ridge, and the second type is the ridge bifurcation, which is basically a sudden forking of the ridge into two. These two minutiae are considered in this project and they are illustrated in the image. Now let us proceed to the system that was designed for successful fingerprint recognition using minutiae extraction and matching. There are mainly three stages, namely the fingerprint input stage that obtains one's fingerprint to proceed to the minutiae extraction stage where the minutiae are extracted from the fingerprint after some processing steps to compare with the originally stored fingerprint in the system at the minutiae matching stage. The details of each stage and substage are explained in the following slides. The first stage of the design involves obtaining the fingerprint by means of optical sensors, silicon sensors or clear images of pen and ink fingerprint. In this project, clear and scanned digital fingerprints have been used and for the system to work efficiently, the fingerprints inputted to the system should be very clear and of high resolution. After obtaining the fingerprint, we proceed to the second stage that involves the extraction of minutiae points, namely the ridge ending and the ridge bifurcation from the fingerprint. Since noise is present on the input fingerprint image, it is recommended that a fingerprint undergoes a series of pre-processing steps to clarify the image more and then to be fed to the extractor. After successful minutiae extraction, post-processing is done to significantly get rid of noise if present. Accordingly, this stage has three main steps, namely pre-processing, extraction, and post-processing. Now basically, pre-processing is done to eliminate noise before minutiae extraction. It is done in the following three steps. First is image enhancement by histogram equalization and fast Fourier transform. Second is the image binarization. And third is the image segmentation by block direction estimation and morphological operations. In image enhancement by histogram equalization, the image clarity of the fingerprint 
is enhanced by increasing contrast and the pixel value distribution of the fingerprint. In the fingerprint images below, the picture quality is seen to improve after applying the histogram equalization technique. The figure on the right is basically the graphical representation of the image, again before and after the application of histogram equalization. We can clearly see that the pixel value distribution is made more prominent, somewhat analogous to a zoomed in image that reveals better details. Next, the image is further enhanced by applying the concept of fast Fourier transform. Using the formula shown, the fingerprint image is split into blocks of size 32 cross 32 pixels. Here in the formula, u and v can have values from 0 to 31. Then the FFT of every block is multiplied with its modulus value in order to enhance by its highest prominent frequencies. FFT also helps in connecting wrongly interpreted broken points and gets rid of the incorrect connectivity. The next step after image enhancement is image binarization. Now it mainly extracts the ridges from the enhanced image and separates them from the background. It is done by converting the image to binary by locally adaptive image binarization technique. This technique involves the splitting up of the image into blocks of 16 cross 16 pixels. Then the mean intensity of each block is computed and compared to each individual pixel intensity in the block. If the pixel in intensity is found to be higher, then it is considered as the pixel object, otherwise it is the background. The figure shows the image after binarization is implemented. Next, after binarization, we come to image segmentation, the last pre-processing step. In segmentation, the binarized data is checked if it is the object or is the background. If background is detected, then it is eliminated. It is usually done using two steps, namely block direction estimation and morphological operations. Firstly, block diagram estimation is done to see if an area has sufficient ridges or else it is treated as the background. The gradient of the direction of each processing block is computed using two Sobel filters using the given tangent equation. Then the number of ridges in each block and the certainty value E were found to check if a block is in the background or not using the second formula given. Next, morphological operations is basically done. It is done to get rid of undesirable areas and form a boundary around the places containing the ridges. There are two operations involved here. The open operation makes the image larger and removes undesirable peaks generated from noise. The close operation reduces the image size and eliminates tiny spaces. Next, we come to the minutiae extraction step. In this step, proper detection and tracking of minutiae points is done on the fingerprint image using two sub-steps, namely ridge thinning and minutiae marking or detection. Ridge thinning basically splits up the image into blocks of 3 cross 3 pixels and the ridges with, with width greater than 1 pixel are eliminated. After that, morphological operations are performed to remove certain points of isolation like the edge breaks and spikes. The images obtained after ridge thinning are shown in the diagrams. Next, we come to minutiae marking or detection. Here, the concept of crossing number is used by the algorithm to check the value of the central pixel in the block. If the value is 1, it checks the number of neighbors it has. Now, if the neighbor is 1, then it is a ridge ending, and if the neighbor is 3, then it is a ridge bifurcation. Additionally, the algorithm checks a special case if the uppermost and rightmost pixel to the central pixel is 1, and also examine if they have branches outside the 3 cross 3 block. If yes, then the duplicate branches are eliminated. Next, the inter-ridge width D is calculated, which is basically the distance between two neighboring ridges. Using all the information above, the minutiae can be marked on the image successfully as shown in the figure. After minutiae extraction and marking, next comes the post-processing step where the false minutiae removal is done. There are seven different false minutiae points 
recognized and eliminated by the algorithm as follows. For the first case, the algorithm examines if the distance between a bifurcation and a termination of the same ridge block is lesser than the inter-ridge width D or not. If yes, then both are eliminated. For case 2, the algorithm examines if the distance between two bifurcations of the same ridge block is lesser than the distance D. If so, then both are eliminated. In case 3, the algorithm examines if two terminations of the same ridge block is within the distance D or not. It also checks if there are other terminations between terminations of the same ridge block. If so, then both are eliminated. Finally, in case 4, the algorithm examines if the termination is lesser than the distance D and if it is also present in a short ridge. If so, it is eliminated. It was seen that the post-processing remarkably improved the precision of the overall system design. Finally, we come to the stage of our design, which is the final stage, that is the minutiae matching stage. From the two fingerprints, it compares to see if a match is obtained or not, and it basically has two sub-stages, namely the alignment stage and the match stage. The alignment step helps to represent two different images in the same coordinate system. The similarities of the minutiae points present in the two fingerprint images are computed using the given formula. Now if the similarity is found to be more than 0.8, then all the minutiae coordinates are rotated to a single reference system. This is illustrated in the given diagram. Next we come to the match stage. Here all the patterns and minutiae locations of two fingerprints are matched. A bounding rectangular box is created around each minutia and after each match they are placed in that box. Next, we evaluate the percentage of the total number of matched minutiae points to the total number of exi existing minutiae templates. If this percentage is more than the set system threshold, then it is considered a perfect match. The current threshold is set at 80%. After designing the entire system and testing the functioning of each of the stages, the following results were obtained. The number of fingerprint combinations considered was 92, out of which the number of correct predictions was 86. The system accuracy was calculated after a few rounds of testing a number of different fingerprint samples. The best accuracy obtained was 97% and the worst was 94%. The system accuracy can be improved at the fingerprint inputting st stage by obtaining a very clear inputted image to eliminate noise and enhance better minutiae detection. The algorithm to detect minutiae points can also be improvised. Finally, it can be inferred that on the whole accuracy of the entire fingerprint recognition system depends mainly on three factors, namely the image clearness, the minutiae extraction process and the proper execution of all the steps for minutiae extraction and comparison between the two fingerprints. The percentage match against noise variance is shown in the figure. It gives us information on the behavior of the different stages and also on their comparison. Here we have the section for the references used. Lastly, I would like to extend my gratitude to Dr. Daping Oliver Wu for his wonderful guidelines and stimulation of interest for the pattern recognition course. The concepts grasped are extremely useful for the future industrial applications. Dr. Wu has always encouraged us to be creative with our project. He has supported and helped us with all the difficulties faced during the project execution and finally its completion. Thank you very much for watching this video.